Hi everyone. I have a short video for you today where I want to talk about my 2020 folio. And yes, I know we're halfway through 2021 already, uh, but as we all know, last year was kind of a crazy year for most people and uh, I didn't do most of my photography until the very end of the year in one long trip uh, out to the southwest in the fall. So all my photography for this folio was done late in the year. And if you follow this channel, you know that I had uh, about 20 episodes of uh, detailing that trip. And so I didn't get to processing and producing all these images till later in the year. So uh, I just finished releasing all those episodes in April, uh, those video episodes. And so with a little bit of time for production of the, of the folio, here we are and it's now ready. So if you're not familiar with what my folios are, uh, these are a collection of uh, small 8x10 prints. They are gathered in a, a heavyweight die cut art paper cover and that contains the prints and some informational materials. And uh, so that's what the, the folio is. The prints are 8x10 with a small white border and they're suitable for framing uh, or also just uh, holding them in your hand and enjoying the detail up close like you might a fine book. Uh, the prints are made on the same paper that I use on all my large uh, fine art photographs. It's the Canson Platine Fiber Rag. It's a very heavy paper and it's beautiful paper and I know you'll love that. So that's what the folio is. Now, I mentioned that my, uh, all, the, all these prints were made uh, really at the, uh, the end of the year in this one uh, month long trip. And if you followed along on all those videos, you know that I had over 20 days of photography and I had almost 70 images produced. And so with so many images, uh, it was really, really difficult for me to whittle that down to 12 prints for the folio. I had to leave many of my favorites out of this collection. And it got me thinking that if many of my favorites weren't able to be included in the folio, that probably any uh, potential purchasers would also find that some of their favorite images were not included. So that got me thinking and I came up with an idea that's a little different this year for the folio. And that is I'm going to include an extra print. I'll include a 13th print in each folio. Uh, the first 12 will be the ones that I've selected, uh, my favorites from the, from the trip from the year. But each purchaser will get to include their own choice from among the remaining images to be included in their folio and thereby sort of customizing a little bit. So I'll leave links to this, but you can go to the website uh, on the folio page and there you can see the 12 images that I've included. But there, there will also be a link to a special gallery of all the images from the trip that I didn't include in the folio. And these images are all numbered and you can just go through there and select the one that you would like to be included in your uh, edition of the folio. And you just email me that number um, after, after you order and I'll print that image and it will be included in your sort of customized folio. I'll update the, the list of images with your chosen image uh, information in there and that'll be included in the folio. And so this way I thought it would be kind of fun that uh, each person will get sort of a little bit of a customized folio and this way you can be assured that one of your favorite images will for sure be included in that folio if it wasn't among my favorite group. So that's what's happening with my 2020 folio. I really appreciate everyone following along on all these episodes and um, I really appreciate everyone's support. Thank you so much for watching this and I really appreciate you considering purchasing this folio and adding it to your collection. So thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.